Hi, I thought I'd jump on again real quick and finish up the questions from the Let's Chat questions answered video that I started. It was yesterday actually and um, yeah, didn't get through it. All of a sudden my camera screen said, let's see, it said something like internal temp too high, allow to cool. And I'm thinking, as I'm sitting going like this, you know, <laughs> I'm thinking what the heck and all of a sudden it just died. So. I don't understand that at all because seriously the camera was outside in the shade but it was only like 72 or 73 or so degrees outside so I don't get it. So hopefully inside my camera won't overheat and we can get through these questions because I want to make sure I get everyone's question answered. We only have a few left. And where we stopped off was from um, Human Unavailable. She was saying, how are you? And I was answering that I am doing just fine. How are you? Um, and I said something to the effect I remember of, um, you know, I'm doing just fine. I have my good days and my bad days, as we all do, but we all just, you know, muddle through and we do our best when we're having our bad days. And, you know, everyone's human. Everyone has their days. So anyway, I'm doing just fine. I can't complain too much. Um, so I'm doing great. Thank you so much for asking me. I would love to know how you're doing, so let me know. Okay, good. <laughs> um, JP... I don't know if it's pronounced JP or JPEE -E 962. Have you ever been recognized from your channel? No, I have not that I know of. I had a time where people were pointing. I noticed people, it was a lady and her daughter, the daughter was older. They were kind of pointing and looking and trying to figure me out and I wasn't entirely sure what their deal was. Um, so I, it's possible that that was one, but no one has actually come up to me and recognized me. Except at VidCon, I did have someone come up do a double take, look at me twice, and then came back up and gave me a high five. Again, don't know if that was that I was recognized. I don't know what, but um, anyway, that would be so much fun if I ever am. Uh, gosh, I'm gonna have to make sure I, you know, brush my hair every day before I go out, just in case I ever am recognized. Um, let's see, thank you for that question, that was fun. And then the last question I have is from N-Z-H-E-L-S, and it says, question about clay and round coin purse. Which one would you save in a fire? What are your thoughts on the Hermes Bastia? I'm not sure if that's how that's pronounced. Thanks, she's trying to figure out which one would suit her needs and so forth. So anyway, okay, which one would I save in a fire? Since I have the clay and I have the coin, I would save the, the clay. I would save the little mini, the little clay, the key one. Um, reason being, it's just a more practical shape. You can fit more in there as for like, like business cards, credit cards, store loyalty cards, um, keys lay flat in there. Um, I've used it for so many things. As a little mini wallet, you can fold bills in there easily. You don't have to worry about the edges and the corners, you know. Um, the round coin purse is, to me, less practical, more adorable. It's just so darn cute, but it's a little less practical um, in that, it, you know, the shape just limits its use a little bit more. Sure, you could fold things differently, but I mean, a stack of credit cards would probably, I don't believe that works at all, to be honest. So I think I would definitely have to go with the clay. And my thoughts on the Hermes Bastia, I, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, Bastia. Um, anyway, it is a beautiful piece. It's very interesting. I have never, I had one in my hand. I've never looked at it in person and played with it, but it looks like the leather would be very tactile. Um, it kind of looks like a square piece of leather folded and then enveloped and you know, you open it that way. So it looks like it could be used for very much the same thing that the clay, the Louis Vuitton clay is used for and just done in kind of a more stylistic way. Um, and that bright orange is gorgeous. So I'm, I'm really not sure how I feel about that one. I think I'd have to feel it and touch it and see what it's like and it looks like the type of piece given the leather, that it would be very tactile and I think it would be something that it would be easy to fall in love with. <laughs> but um, I still think the clay is the number one most used, most usable, most used for me. Um, pretty much I only use my round coin purse for, uh, I roll my earbuds up and put those in there. And that's really all I've ever used it for and a few coins here and there. So, uh, that's, so that's pretty much it. So I would have to go with the clay. I hope that helps. Thank you so much for your question. And I believe that does it for all my questions that I received from my YouTube question answering thing. So thank you guys so, so much. Um, I plan to do some Let's Chats here and, you know, here and again and now and again, whatever it's called. 
And if you would like to ask me any questions, go right ahead to do so anytime, and I'll kind of just bundle them up, and sometimes we'll chat about questions during my Let's Chat. Other times there may be a subject. If you want to chat about a subject, let me know what subject you'd like me to chat about, and then I can tell you my thoughts, and you can weigh in and so forth. Um, that could be fun, too. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate it, and it was so fun to answer your questions, and I hope I got to yours and that you enjoyed the answers, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon because in about two seconds, I'm going to start filming another video so you'll see this exact look again in a few minutes. Well, it might be a few days before you see the video, but anyway. <laughs> Bye, guys.